why would we want to install the latest kernel on Linux Mint? Mint uses older kernels in its releases to ensure that we have a very stable system. You might want to install a newer kernel if you have newer hardware that is not working as it should. In my case, some of the buttons on my laptop keyboard are not functioning. And I know for a fact that kernel 6.2 and above will fix that issue. And let me see this. Before you attempt this on your Linux Mint system, please watch the entire video. It's not a long video because it can be really easy to make a mistake and foobar your system. So you want to be careful. With that being said, don't worry. This is a very simple process. You need to know that if you're running pretty old hardware, updating to a new kernel is not always the best idea. I'll tell you what I did. I installed kernel 6.2 on an 11 year old desktop computer, running Linux Mint of course, and I immediately saw issues with lagginess and trouble copying files and even renaming files. It was pretty weird. Today though, I'm doing this on my three year old laptop and should not see any issues. And just so you are aware, I've done this before on Linux Mint um, under a different install and they were great. But I'm gonna do it again today on a clean install on this laptop so I can show you guys how I did it. For Ubuntu based distributions like Linux Mint 21.1 Vera, this is what we're gonna do. Open up a terminal. Let's find out what kernel our system is running at the moment. And the way we're going to do that is by typing sudo uname base dash a, type in your password. And so right now this system is running 5.15.0-73 generic from Ubuntu. This kernel was released back on October 31st, 2021. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is sudo apt update. Because we want to make sure that we have everything we need so we don't run into any issues. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to add a repository that will allow us to download and install a certain tool to install these kernels. So we're going to add the PPA repository called Linux Mainline, which contains the kernel tool that we're planning to install. sudo add-apt-repository PPA Capelican. That's how I'm going to say it forward slash PPA, enter. Okay, so it connected to the repository. Hit enter again. Okay, so that's done. The last line says imported one, one whole repository. So we get that done. We're gonna go ahead and run an update one more time just to make sure there's nothing else that we're lacking. So let's type sudo apt update. See if there's anything else. Okay, still good. Okay, now that that is done, what we have to do now is actually install the actual tool. So we'll type in sudo apt get install mainline. That's it. Hit enter. Do you want to continue? Let's hit a Y for yes. Hit enter again. It'll keep going and it will install that tool for us. Okay, so now that that's done, we should be able to see it in our applications menu. So click on that button, go to administration, and you should see Ubuntu mainline kernel installer right here. Click on that. We can close this terminal now. So right now it's refreshing. Down here it says updating kernels 42 of 501. So it's going to give us a list of 501 kernels. It looks like. It's on 76 now. That's going to take a while. But I won't drag you guys through that. Be back in a second. All right, so that's done. Now we have a list of a whole bunch of kernels. So we should be able to see not only the latest and greatest, but we should be able to see the one that we're running right now, which is 515 right here. 515.073. We also have a couple of slightly older kernels installed on Mint, but we don't need those anymore. I'm not going to install them or anything. They won't hurt anything. I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade. Now we can be really daring and we can download 6.3.5, or I can just go down to 6. one of these 6.2s over here because I know they work. But being the daring person that I am, I'm going to click on that to highlight it. The cool thing is it's going to install all the headers as you can see in that bubble that popped up. And that's that's going to be something that's needed if you plan on installing something like Vert Manager because it's going to need those headers. I actually did a video on how to install Vert Manager and set all that up on Linux Mint. So you might want to check that out too. And then go over here to the side panel and we're going to click install. And it just goes straight to installing it. 
You can cancel it, but things might get weird. I don't know. I haven't tried it. I don't want to try it anyway because I want to install this new kernel. Now this is going to be installing 6.3.5, so we'll see how that works on my system. I know 6.2 dot something or other worked really well. This is slightly newer, so it shouldn't be much of a difference. Uh, this laptop's not terribly old, so all I needed to do is install those new drivers for the Lenovo laptop keyboard, and I'm good. That's all I needed for. Okay, it's installing the headers, installing the modules, the actual Linux image, 6.3.5. So as soon as this is done, the next step is going to be restarting the computer because that'll actually load the new kernel. Until you do that, you'll still be running the old kernel because that's what's in memory right now. Okay, so it says done. So that must mean we're done, right? Close that. Exit here, and we're going to restart the computer, and then I'll be back. All right, folks, we're back. I restarted my laptop. Now I'm back at the desktop on Linux Mint 21.1 Vera. Let's open up a terminal again. Let's go ahead and see what version of kernel we're running right now. So let's do uname-a, and now we're running. You can see here I'm running 6.3.5, testing out my brightness buttons on my on my laptop keyboard and they are working perfectly so if i have any issues after this update i'll go ahead and post another video about it i don't think i will this is a fairly new i should say newer laptop and uh don't anticipate any issues with it that's going to be everything guys appreciate you watching i hope i helped somebody today and we will see y'all later